So it just kind of go, like I said, I go left to right. So careful, they have little grenades. Ooh. So, yes, careful with these guys. You know, their helmet protects them a little bit. I'm having a hard time just kind of finishing them off. But as long as you make it through... Let's see, did I get everybody? I think I did. Alright. Now let's go, yeah, you know, make a new friend. Or an old friend. Hey, fella. Fella. Come on. This is not the place you want to be hanging around. Uh, uh, hey. Oh, hey. You killed them. Oh, that's great. Thanks for that. Oh, good. What? Oh. Hey. Hey, it's loading, isn't it? How you doing? Your outfit is a little bit different to the usual army regulation attire. What? What is it? Oh yeah, it's uh, experiment number G seven two two four. I'm the first to be fitted with this. It's an indestructible uh, titanium laminate. Right. So what does that mean? Oh, uh, it means that if somebody shoots me, I don't die. Really? That's a pretty good idea. I'll get me some of them. Alright, so let's get a look around. I think that's where we came from. We should go over here. Do, 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 do. So, he says to stick behind him, but that doesn't really work. So he most definitely does not go first. So let's just go a little bit at a time because we're. Come on, dude. Come on. You're gonna want to draw out these bombs and run behind him. Oh, what? That's not how that's supposed to work. So basically, you're supposed to draw out those spiders, and then he will. Uh, you know, basically shield himself. Man, this is not going well. Okay. So basically, yeah, they should be running into him. He's very slow moving. He honestly is pretty useless other than the fact that the spiders will use him to explode. So that worked out pretty well. So here we go. There we go. It even says get behind me. There we go. So maybe I need to kind of center center him a little bit more, as when we were coming, like the first one basically ran right over him. So keep track. Listen. You know, look at the ground as needed. You don't want to be taking kind of damage like I did right at the beginning you should you should be able to get this th through this pretty easily yep here we go 
and we're into the next area already. Okay, so let's see if this is in the same place that it should be. Alright, so come off here to the right. And giant contact sensitivity button. So, we're going to want to aim here. Take these out as fast as possible. There we go. Now... You're going to want to get out of here. You might die. That's okay. The uh, lock should stay unlocked. And off. So now we have a big door to get through. And obviously, that's our way through. But yeah, now you have like a little army coming after you. Just move as fast as you can. And I just like to keep jumping. I think it makes it a little easier. Ah! Okay, so let's join him in there for just one second. And same thing. Now we're going to use the tank to continue this war and our path through. So let's get out of here. Let's see how much health I can get. Okay. Let's see if I can find one more. This next area is kind of interesting. We just got to get in here and make a quick escape. Okay, so here we're going to have the little spider guys wait for that sound to go off and start moving. So if you jump a little too close to them, they might just explode on the spot. But I like to just kind of wait. Ooh. Let them run around really quick. Um, basically, we're going to have to make three of these jumps and flip a switch. Wow, that, uh, very liberal explosion and range on that. So that should open the door. There we go. Yeah, start booking it. This is a time thing. You know, you just got to get, get your camera angle set and make the three jumps. It's nothing too crazy. Shouldn't be too bad to get across this. So, do do do. One more. And you can see that the f uh, jumping is not as fast as the just just run. So, let's see how much health do I have? I lost a couple bars. There we go. And if I need to, I can always come back. So, let's go over here. So here, you can see the eye right there, much like the RSR on, you don't want to get caught in it. So here, we can kind of just drive forward. Let's take a shot or two, or three, until that leg breaks. Four legs here, we need to break all four of them. There's three bridges along the way, and we just need to make that jump onto the gear, and then break the bridge down for us to be able to take it through with the tank getting a little bit of performance issues which you think for this game on the xbox i'm playing on xbox one really shouldn't have that issue but it's just it is what it is so second leg down let's get a bit of a running start we don't want the eye looking at us we don't want to be getting shot at and here we go. So let's wait a little bit. You can see it swaying back and forth. 
I'd rather have it see me while I'm moving forward so I can get out of its vision a little faster. There we go. There we go. And now that's three legs down. Let's see if I can make this jump. Right onto the gear. Perfect. And now we can get onto the tank. So now we just need to make sure that, one, we don't drive off the ledge. But two is, let's go take out that fourth leg. There we go. All four legs are down. And we've just completed this area. As long as I don't slip and fall, we should be okay. So I take this pretty slow because I don't want to die and figure out if I have to kill these guys over again. So let's go in and drop down. Oh well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. 